Hello all of you. This is Vandita Sarda from Actuators Educational Institute. So recently on 21st March 2022, the University's Grant Commission made an announcement for introducing the Central University Entrance Test. Now this entrance test has been introduced to bring uniformity across all centrally funded universities which means nearly 45 universities are registered under this and they have to take this test for entrance into any of the undergraduate courses offered by them. For the private or deemed to be universities, also this test can be conducted but it's not compulsory for them. So what is the point of introducing this? This is not the first time that the UGC has made such an announcement. Even back in 2010, they had introduced CUCET, but it wasn't a success because only 14 universities accepted it. So this time, they have introduced it because usually undergraduate courses take in students on the basis of their class 12 marks or their higher secondary marks, which is different for all boards, be it the state boards, be it the central board, CS, CBSC or ISC. So the evaluation system for all these boards are very different because of which the cutoffs differ for every single board. This makes the entire admission process very cumbersome and that's why to bring uniformity the CUET will be conducted and based on the marks that the student gets in this exam they will get another chance to prove themselves that they are eligible and suitable for entering into that particular college. So now the CUET will be applicable from the academic year 2022 to 23 itself, which means the upcoming academic year for the colleges. The test will be conducted by the National Testing Agency, NTA. It is the same agency that conducts all other entrance examinations for courses like engineering or medical such as JEE. Now they have provided for an option that practical courses can also take practical subject examinations as entrance tests such as for subjects like music, theatre etc which is completely on them. The application dates are to begin from the first week of April and the exam is likely to be conducted in the first week of July 2022. It is not yet sure whether the exam will be conducted on a single day for all states or it will be conducted over a stretch. The mode of the exam will be computer based and it will be conducted in 13 languages such as Bengali, Assamese, Odia, English, Hindi etc. The student can choose from any of the 13 languages which they are comfortable in and they want to specialize in. Now the exam will have three parts. The first part will be the language portion where the students comprehension skills, vocabulary, grammar etc for the language they have opted for will be tested. The next part will be a course specific part. In this part, the students will get 27 options out of which they have to choose minimum one and a maximum of six subjects that they want to appear for. This part will be completely dependent on the course the student wishes to pursue in their undergraduate course. The third part is the GK current affairs, quantitative aptitude and logical reasoning part. This is a very general common aptitude part. The mathematics also will be only up to the level that is taught in class 8 such as topics like ratio proportion, profit loss, percentage, basics of geometry and algebra. For more details on CUET and its guidance, you all can contact on any of the numbers given on the screen. You can follow us on actuators underscore educational on Instagram or check out our website actuatorseducation.com. Thank you so much.